here's another fucking article I'm going to go over from the Milwaukee Independent. Um, Dear white people, if you have ever said any of these things and you were part of the problem, let me get some fucking uh, FF7 lo-fi again. That was fucking... That was nice, dude. Let me get that. Let me get that, dude. Let me get that. Man, now I sound like a fucking MPS educated fucking... (laughs) You know? Ebonics spewing. Okay. Where was I now? I was somewhere. Doing something. Okay, uh, dear white people, if you've ever said any of these things, then you are part of the problem. Got it. My dear white friends, I'm about to lay some hardcore truths on you right now. Many of you are the problem. Yes, you read that right. Many of you are the reason why these riots are happening. Wow. (laughs) Many of you are the reason why it has come to this. This is especially true if you've ever, and especially in the last week, said any of the following. Fuck, dude, let me turn this down just a little bit more. It's jamming, but my my earphones are fucking pretty huge. It's awful, but... No, no buts. In the English language, the word but is often used to deflect or to justify behavior. Police murdering black people in the street is awful. Period. End of discussion. Right, so disingenuous framing of, you know, disingenuous end to a disingenuously framed conversation where they continuously fucking lie and say, like, oh, let me have that. He had that. No, it's awful, but uh, Blake's fuck with cops, dude. They fucking grab their shit, they pull weapons on them, and they get dealt with. What do you want me to fucking say about it, dude? They they had that. They, they get to the had that. They get $27 million. The George Floyd family gets $27 million fucking dollars or whatever it was because he OD'd. You know, let me had that. It's a bullshit premise, number one. Number two, I support the movement, but not these disruptive protests. I, for one, do not support the movement because they've done nothing materially positive for any human being. They've only destroyed and hurt people and terrorized people. So I, I do not support the movement at all or the disruptive protests. Uh, no, you don't. Right now, the movement is taking the form of these pr- disruptive protests. They're the same thing. You either want police to stop murdering... <laughs> um, if you do, then support the protests, even if you find them disruptive and frustrating, because that's bleak people fighting for their lives. No, it's not. No, it's fucking not, dude. It's people It's people just responding to fake news media and just being horrible to other people, you know? It's just, it's that fucking simple. It's that fucking simple, dude. And they're, materi- they're materially improving the lives of no one. <coughs> All lives white. So, and by the way, this is framed in the little preamble. Um, if you've said anything in this list, you are the reason that they're rioting and like trashing. You're the reason why your favorite major city in the United States looks like fucking East Germany right now. It's it's your fault, okay? Because we'll just pretend that it makes fucking sense. No one said they didn't. Yeah, they did, dude. No, they fucking get violent when you suggest this. The conversation is specifically about bleak lives right now because police are murdering them in the streets. No, they're not. Till police stop doing that and white people stop dismissing it, it's not all lives matter, it's most lives matter. It's not... <sighs> Fuck. The patronizing language. Just every, everything. The patronizing language and the hubris as they are lying and just wrong and stupid. There are good cops. <clears throat> Not about actions of the individuals, it's about systemic, state-sanctioned violence against black people and other people of color. In fact, racism historically and currently is so embedded in policing that even if there weren't any bad cops, racist... No. They commit more crimes, they have more interactions with cops. This is 25... Dude, Sargon of Akkad in like 2015, like that dope, could have set you straight on this. This This is basic fucking shit. Same so-called good cops who are sharing BLM hashtags and kneeling with you now, cucks, won't think twice about kneeling on your neck at a later time. Who the f- dude, Milwaukee Independent is a disgusting, disreputable fucking outlet. Um, it's just loosely connecting a hypothetical cop who puts the hashtag up 
with a cop who hypothetically unjustly puts a knee on someone's neck, and that's an opaque reference to George Floyd, who again, it's important to reiterate, he was not killed by Chauvin, he OD'd of his own choices. Um, systemic systems of structural institutions, yep, yep. That's all they have to say, it's gobbledygook, they never elaborate on what the system is. You ask them, they fuck, their eyes gla glaze over, right? If, you know? They don't elaborate, and they just, like, shove you out <clears throat> in multiple different ways. I don't support the looting and the destruction. No one says you have to, but please stop acting like looting nullifies the entire protest. Yes, it does. And definitely stop acting like looting is just as bad. It's worse. <laughs> Cops defending communities is just as bad as looting and rioting and killing security guards and killing kids, dude. Setting up the autonomous zones with the explicit and tacit approval of the media, politic like Ted Wheeler, Mayor Ted Wheeler. I forget the name of the uh, mayor in Seattle. Um, actually, Ben Joe, man, if you're still in the chat, maybe you can ch chime in. What the fuck's her name? She she called it the summer of love when, when their autonomous zone was happening. Um, I mean, dude, just as bad. The establishment supported the autonomous zones. What are you talking about? The media called it mostly peaceful protests. <laughs> you see how, you see how, like, I just described what the system is? If someone were to ask me, like, well, why are you angry about the system right now? I would be, I would tell you, like, that's what's, ha that's what the system is doing. That is a concrete, direct example of something that the system is doing that I don't fucking like. Jenny Durkin, yeah, so she, she, she fucking you know, amongst other officials, like city council officials and everything called it like summer of love, this, that, and the other. Like they were fucking supporting it. Ugh. Number six, just because I'm white doesn't mean my life has been easy. Of course not. Everybody struggles, but being white has never been one of those struggles, uh, except for affirmative action, except for if you're in a corporate or academic setting where they're forcing you to take like a Robin DiAngelo, like de deconstruct your whiteness seminar. Um, you know, you're poor, you're struggling, uh, Lakeisha or whatever, like, you looked at it the wrong way and you get fired, or you tweeted out Trump is your president and you got fired because of yada yada yada, white... Dude, what are, you, what are you talking about? How many examples do I need to fucking get, like, Rittenhouse defending himself while defending the city during a riot? He's, like, considered a white supremacist by the establishment. Uh, the Covington kids, dude... How many fucking examples do I need to give you? Interracial violence being overwhelmingly a Blake on white issue and the media never covering it, honestly. How many fucking examples, bro? Being handicapped is a struggle. Being a woman, no. Being, no. Uh, it's a struggle to disassociate. Uh, being an immigrant is a struggle, but being white has never been a struggle, except for all the examples that I just gave you. It's not and being being a person of color is not a struggle only insofar as like the good folks don't want to be around like people that would agree with this fucking you know what I mean they they don't want to associate with people that would find this list to be enlightening in any way you know I really wish they would protest peacefully of course you do they're easier to ignore that way <laughs> yeah and what you really want for them is to die more quietly. People of color have been peacefully protesting for hundreds of years. It hasn't been all that successful. The reason riots are violent and violent demonstrations work is because it makes people, especially white people, uncomfortable. <laughs> they're just like straight up telling you that they want to hurt you. They're, they're straight up saying that they want to hurt you and that you should be thrilled or maybe you shouldn't be thrilled about it, but you should accept it. You should accept being put, put on edge and feel terrorized in your own community. Like, if, if you have kids, if you have white kids, you should be stoked that you're being put on edge and like peace of mind in your own community is being fucked with by the establishment every day. You, you should be pumped about that. You should be pumped about clown world, dude. Exactly what, yeah, see? Exactly where you need to be, see? People only pay attention to the extreme. It, it, it's, it, it's not legitimate though. It, 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 it's based on lies. We've already been over this. I don't see color. See, this is this is the boomer take, though. Everybody does see color. No, I, I actually agree. You are lying to yourself. But the problem is that they only attack white people. 
for trying to play the game that they've been given. Like the rules of the game they've been given, like if you came up in the 80s and 90s, the the game the rules of the game that you were given were like just don't see color don't see race see everybody as an individual don't prejudge right then sometime around like i don't know 2008 to 2013 rolled around like the tail end of obama's second term and every every other person was talking like oh if you're white you can't be a victim of this or you're always a perpetrator of that you know then all of a sudden all of a sudden uh, they flipped that game, right? And then all the people, all the admittedly like boomers and Gen X people who were trained their whole lives to never see color, they started saying, I don't see color, right? And then this shit started. Like, then they started deconstructing people's white identity. Like, you don't see color, then you also don't see their culture. If you don't see color, then you erase their very identity. If you don't see their color, then you also... So their culture is like looting Nike truck, like Nike stores and hurting people, dude, when they're angry. Like, that's not a culture I want near me. You know, I don't, I don't fucking want that. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't want to fucking, I don't want to stare into that abyss and become it either, right? Like, I don't, I don't want kids to have to go to school with that and come out like Slim Shady or like Juggalos, you know? Hold on, turn this down just a little bit. Yeah. Shouldn't have committed a crime. Uh, I agree with that. Where's the lie? This is this one is a big one for me. Consider me triggered. A boy who steals a can of pop from 7-Eleven does not deserve to be shot in the back three times. That's not what they're shot for. A man illegally selling CDs on a street corner doesn't deserve to be shot in the death in front of a record store. A man selling cigarettes. Okay, dude, all these people fought with cops, didn't they? Uh, no, this guy said... Which one was this guy? Man who runs a red light does not deserve to be shot while reaching for his registration. I think he was the one who said, I have a gun, and then he reached for it. And the cop repeatedly said, no, 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 no. I forgot his name. This isn't about their crimes. This is about racialized policing. Stay on topic. No. More patronized languages. They fucking lie to you. More patronizing fucking brainwashing languages. They fucking lie and abuse you. Black people kill white people too, like way the fuck more. Yes, murderers exist in every race and walk of life, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about police brutality. In reality is black officers are not black officers are not murdering unarmed white men in the street. They're not murdering unarmed black men in the street. In fact, the black cop in Milwaukee that the Sherman Park riot was based on, he was defending himself, I think, right? gangbanger was doing like the standard running from cops and then he wheeled around with a piece and yeah dude you play quick draw with someone who's professionally trained to shoot hey dude you know what the fuck's gonna happen what, what what's gonna happen dude okay if any of you are guilty <laughs> of saying any of the above then I have unsettling news for you you are the reason it has come to this you are the reason peaceful protests haven't worked they haven't worked because you haven't been listening. You haven't been learning. These riots are happening because you have left black people no other choice. Wow, dude. These riots are happening because no matter how black people have said it, taking a knee, marching the streets, bumper stickers, banners, signs, all generously funded by the banks, by the way. You still don't get it. You, it's like you still don't get, like, you need to give us money and, like, prostrate yourselves and cut your own throats, basically. <clears throat> doesn't mean you're racist, bad people. Yeah, except we're gonna fucking cancel you if you don't agree. It only means you're white, and that's not a crime. Any more than being black is. The difference is police aren't going to shoot you in the streets for it. Wow, dude. Actual writer Patrick Benjamin. Who the fuck is this idiot, dude? Let's get a face associated with um, Patrick Benjamin, okay? writer I don't know if he's from Milwaukee or not is this the guy Whew. this can't possibly be it he looks like an actor like a Hollywood actor or something or like a failed wait no these are his books I don't know man <laughs> where's the gay 
Patrick Benjamin is a really... Seems like a common name. I don't know. What's this now? Aha! More bullshit. Okay. From the Milwaukee Independent, dude. This is a garbage fucking publication. I got a kick out of the recent video you showed of owning that soy boy in the mask who's arguing about abortion. <laughs> yeah, I might actually play that one at the end of the stream. Um... Okay, Milwaukee Independence, that's some bullshit. Right-wing violence, white supremacist groups found behind most of this year's domestic terrorist attacks. Not true. That's bullshit, man. White supremacists and other right-wing extremists have been responsible for 67 of domestic terror attacks and plots so far this year. At least half of that violence targeting protesters. Bullshit, dude. Bullshit. One need only watch, not just myself, but anyone who's been covering this for the past four fucking years, dude. Just know. The report found only one single deadly far-left attack in 2020 in the shooting of Aaron Danielson, a right-wing activist by self-described anti-fascist during a protest in Portland. Yeah, and BLM outright encouraged it. They said, good, he's a pr proud boy. Like, good. They straight up said that. <laughs> No. See, th these 41 politically motivated attacks, I guarantee you, are like a poop swastika, right? You know, it's like, it's probably like a fake noose, like someone found a spool of thread on a college campus and then took a picture and it blew up on fucking Twitter. It's a fake noose incident. It's like the Southern Poverty Law Center fucking cooking the books, dude. No, it's Antifa and BLM, dude. Yeah, no, it is. We have it on fucking video. It's just that it doesn't... It's catch and release. Again, if you follow people like Andy No, you know that these guys get caught and release. We have, like, mountains of fucking mug shots of these meth heads, dude. They get their mug shots, and then they fucking release them or give them a slap on the wrist, dude. And I guess they don't mark it as terrorism. It's fucking bullshit, dude. Like, several dozen people died from the George Floyd riots, dude. And, that, you know, it's like, whatever. It's not even including, like, people's livelihoods that have been fucking ruined and they might as well be dead, right? This is all just, like, cooking the books and lies of omission. Don't even need to fucking... Garrett Foster, dude. Garrett Foster pulled a gun on somebody, so this is just a straight-up fucking lie, dude. This entire... We don't even need to fucking read this shit. It's just garbage. <laughs> it's just straight fucking garbage, dude. And, uh, trying to acquaint uh, da, 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 da. No. Yeah. Terrorism is defined as the deliberate use or threat of violence by non state actors in order to achieve political goals. So, yeah, four straight years of Antifa, how many, however many fucking riots we've documented them. Absolute fucking horseshit. <laughs> 